So, so as a NASA astronaut, Peggy, you, of course, are involved with the government. A lot of the news right now about space actually is coming from the private sector, with Elon Musk, for example. Uh, if you were doing it all over again, would, would Elon Musk be your boss, or are there some things that private can do that public can't and the public can do that private can't? Well, I think at the place we are right now, uh, uh, the government can do more, uh, but that is, for instance, we're seeding some of the money, seed money for some of the commercial providers. Uh, SpaceX and uh, Orbital ATK are providing cargo up here to the space station. Hopefully in the next year or so, we'll be actually getting crew supplied by SpaceX or Boeing. And so I think the 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 commercial to private the government to commercialization is transitioning right now and it's fantastic to see the the cargo coming up on all these different vehicles and uh, i really do think it's the future uh, because just like aviation uh, it has to expand um, in order to be really prolific and having these these programs in place now is a definitely a stepping stone for further development and that allows the government then to spend more money on uh, going and expand and exploring beyond uh, low earth orbit which is what the current limitations are planned for for some of the commercial providers and and we do hope to encourage them to continue on actually into further deep space as well. So, so f finally, Peggy, let's go way beyond lower Earth orbit. There's a lot of talk right now about colonizing Mars, actually going to Mars and living there. You've been living in space a fair amount of your life now over the last 15 years. Is that a realistic goal to set to actually have a colony on Mars? I do think it's a fantastic goal to have. We should have colonies on Mars and the moon, and we should be expanding and exploring even further. So yes, and I think it's gonna take some technology development, and we're gonna, and we're using the International Space Station here to perfect some of those technologies. For instance, if we go on a multi-year mission to Mars, we need to be able to have a closed life support system, which means, um, we need to be able to process our urine and make it into drinking water. We do that here on board the space station, and uh, you know we're at about 85 percent of what we call closing the loop of life support systems, at least in the water balance system. And so it's it's very exciting to be a part of those. Uh, um, investigations, those testing, engineering and testing that's going on up here right now.